Okay guys, welcome. Looks like we are almost ready to start. Um Does anybody know this guy called Max Pay? Whoops! Uh, sorry, I'm late. Uh, uh whoa! Wow, shit. Um painkillers? Except for my fucking face, goddammit. I used to be a respectful police officer. One of the toughest guys on the street. Hey, Max. Going hunting again tonight, huh? <laughs> Bad guys never sleep, Jim. Just a regular day for me. It's the NYPD! Drop your weapons! Oh shit! It's pain! Kill him! I had the EU ability. The power to slow down time. I mean, look at that shit. Just look at it. It's fucking amazing, isn't it? Excellent work, Max. No problem. But maybe I was too good for those criminal scams out there to let me get away with that. One day I was coming home after work. Michelle! I knew that something wasn't feeling right. The door was open and a symbol was painted on the wall, like an evil satanic cult or something. A message in blood was also written on our baby's bedroom door. Welcome to die, pain! <laughs> but I was too upset to check the spelling errors. I needed to cross that door. I found my son dead on the floor, covered in blood. At least he fought with honor, like a real pain will do. But the worst was yet to come in the next room. A wall of Instagram photos was staged over our bed. My wife was lying lifeless on the sheets like a beautiful angel. She died for a deadly cocktail of stalking and vintage photo filters. Every detail was telling me that this abomination was designed by a gang of hipsters. I could feel the smell of their flannel shirts still in the air. From that day on, that horrible sight transformed my face into a painful, static, horrible expression. An incurable paralysis that turned me into a monster. A couple of days after the accident, I was asked to come to the police station. I didn't know the reason yet, but something felt strange. It seemed like all my colleagues were missing, even if their computers were on. My boss took my police badge off and said that I was a danger for the department because everyone was scared of my sight. No one could face my terrible deformation. The city that once I was defending now was rejecting me. How ironic. I started drinking so bad and my metaphor rate was rising, like the dark inside me. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but I thought it was cool to say this. Even my secret love, Mona Sex, she wouldn't recognize me anymore. Hey Max, why did you want to see me? Oh my god. Wait, Mona, it's just me, Max. No! to me was unbearable, but I felt like I wanted to enjoy my life even so, like a stillborn baby who sees the rays of the sun for the first time. I didn't want to hide in the dark room forever, so I decided to try merging among the people anyway, without thinking too much about my condition. But it wasn't that easy. At all. Uh, 
Okay, Max. You're surrounded. Put this bag slowly on your face and nobody will get hurt, okay? But I knew my time was not over. So I started fighting the crime from the underworld, bringing justice in the city, like a deadly executioner. Whoa. Mr. Payne, glad you joined the party. surgery was still off the hook for me. Plus, I was spending all my savings on painkillers and bullets. But day by day, hiding in the shadow like a deadly ghost, the heat of every single battle carved my face into a mix between George Clooney and Bruce Willis to finally become the ultimate middle-aged sex symbol. shaved my hair to look more badass, but the fans were not happy with that at first. Oh, come on! Really? Bald? This is bullshit! I also became a mercenary for a rich family in Sao Paulo for some time. Protection job. Pretty nice vacation, but honestly, I was tired of selling that bitch ass all day, and if it wasn't for the good money, I would have shoot her in the mouth right away. Fucking bad musical taste of horror. Matalo, matalo. Well, at least the local language was easy to understand. Da puta. But then one day, I surprisingly received a call from the police station. They offered me to get back on duty, because they knew that the real Max Payne was returned. What a bunch of backstabbing dogs. But it was my second chance as a cop, so I accepted. Then a few months later, I received a mysterious phone call. Hello? Looks like your punishment was not enough severe. Meet me at the National Airport on Tuesday at 5 p.m. Michelle was involved in this, so I decided to meet the mysterious guy without any backup with me, so that no one knew I was there. Shit! Can we just stop putting text everywhere like kindergarten? Come on! Drop your fucking weapon, Payne, or we're going to hell all together! What a nice happy ending, huh? Getting shot in the head by a psychopath. Something that was not in my agenda. Whoa, <laughs> nice clothes, Grandpa. Whoa! Yes, maybe time changes. I wanna speak bullet language. I never learn. I always talk too much. Episode, a quantum suicide. Mr. Payne, I'm afraid to inform you that you've been severely injured after the accident. Therefore, we had to take some aesthetic measures. Dr. Gray, please proceed. Yeah. <laughs> 
guy is crazy. Hell yeah. You wanna make out? Stop right there, Payne! We got to! Come on, Max. It's over. You know what to do now. And so here I am now, abandoned, like a rat in a lonely cage. Maybe I was right. Time moves forward, but nothing changes. Looks like you're lucky, Max. Here's your cellmates. Huh? Oh, you must be fucking kidding me!